Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome and welcome back. Today's video I'm very excited to do because we're gonna be just casually sitting down, chit-chatting, catching up on things. This video is a part of my Shop My Stash series that I started in the beginning of this year of 2023. And uh, it has been a few months since my last episode. So today I'm very, very excited to catch up with you guys on things that have been going on in the past few months. So I have some housekeeping things to go over with you. I also ask you on my community tabs and on my Instagram, if you have any questions for me that you would like me to include in this video. And I I will be answering them at the end of the video. I will put a timestamp on this video where to find those if you were just interested in that portion of the video. I also ask you on the community tab which eyeshadow palette you would love me to use in this video and majority of you guys voted for this Pat McGrath Beauty right here. I was happy that you guys voted for this palette because this is my personal favorite. This palette is currently in my full wardrobe of eyeshadow palettes, something that I have in a separate basket sitting here on the side and I've been somewhat reaching for it on my own time as well. I really enjoy this palette. Not that the other palettes were not good options, but this one was definitely a winner. Most of the products that I'm gonna be featuring today doing my makeup, they are a part of my stash. They've already been featured on my channel multiple times. You've already seen the reviews on them. However, I also want to do this palette today. This is a considerably new item for me. And also I got these two lipsticks uh, just recently from the Angelica Nyquist and Odin Zai collaboration. And I thought it would go with the vibe of the makeup look that I will be uh, doing today. If this is your first time on my channel, hi, my name is Eve. I love all things beauty. Here on my channel, I share about beauty, makeup, a lifestyle, and I upload new videos every week. If that sounds interesting to you, I hope you enjoy this video. Stick around, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And now without further ado, uh, let's and dive in. I already have skin care on, but I am going to use this Bliss Blockstar sunscreen that is an SPF and it is also a good primer. Killing two birds with one stone. I haven't had this video filmed in a few months. Time from the end of summer and through September flew by like I blinked once maybe twice, and here we go, we are in October. Like, what in the world? In my last episode of Shop My Stash, I did tell you guys that I will be extending that uh, rotation for a few months because it was a summer months and everything was just, the weather was just crazy hot and humid, so it really didn't make sense for me to uh, do another switch of a product. Everything just needed to be matte and control my oils and shine, which actually worked out perfectly. Um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about few things in this video, like housekeeping things, what I've been thinking lately, going towards the end of the year. Summarizing things, basically thinking of what content I want to post until the end of the year, starting decluttering, and also like what type of content I want to do next year. Do I want to do something different? Do I want to do something that's the same? So all that's kind of been already going through my head. I also need to put something on my lips. Uh, this is a by Juvia's Place. My lips are always super dry, you guys. I absolutely always need to hydrate my lips. I'm using this foundation today, LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation. Mine is in the shade LN6. Guys, just in case if I forget to mention a product or a shade, everything is going to be linked for you in the description box as always. So I also wanna show you this new brush that I got. I just got it from Amazon last week and it is so good. It is so good and I'm gonna show you how this works. It has a little bit of a slanted shape and it's super soft. And I'm just gonna dispense my foundation here. I definitely have like some ideas what I wanna keep uh, doing, what I wanna stop doing. So when it comes to shop my stash, I will tell you that this is going to be the last, probably the last episode that I'm gonna do this year because there's just gonna be so many videos that I wanna film that kind of gonna be wrapping up the year that I feel like it's gonna be harder for me to do something this casual. I'm not excluding this completely as an option, but there's a high chance I'm probably not gonna even have time to film one of these. I also, guys, started decluttering series. Few episodes are already filmed and I everything is going very well, I have to tell you. Just gotta have to stay uh, tuned for that. I know some of you are really excited for my decluttering series and I told you I will be decluttering stuff and there's a little twist in my episodes as well. So definitely stay tuned. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. So you will see those uh, very soon on my channel because I already told you I will be uh, posting them soon. It's definitely gonna take me some time to edit everything, but most probably like beginning of November, you will start seeing new uh, decluttering series. So do you guys see how beautiful this foundation is? And then this brush just applied everything without any streakiness. I just love this so much. So another thing is that I decided not to do Shop My Stash 
because I actually had to break down the bin that was sitting here. I just really needed to pull all the products off of my desk. And let me tell you something, my room is a chaos right now because I'm just trying to reorganize everything. I recently got new storage here in my room and I did film a pretty quick vlog that's already out on my channel. So I'm trying to reorganize everything that I'm gonna just do declutters. I really like to fit everything in just those two storage solutions that I have here. I just feel like in the past several months, my vanity where I get ready, this is also where I film. It was just getting so overcrowded. Everything was just on here and it was just drive me crazy. So definitely organization and decluttering has to take place the sooner the better. So basically I broke down the basket that was here from last Shop My Stash. And once I declutter and organize everything and I'm gonna have my collection fully organized, then I'm gonna do another Shop My Stash basket. I really like the idea of doing Shop My Stash. This is just definitely something that I enjoy doing this year. Uh, and I know you also guys enjoy watching those series you get inspired i also ask you to pick the palettes so i think it's just a fun series to keep here on my channel thought i will do more of a seasonal shop my stash so i think my next one is going to be more of like winter themed i'm not sure when this video is going live but hopefully it's going to be going live before sephora sale so i thought it would be just uh, inspirational for you to guys maybe see some of the products in action today as well so i also thought i will revisit this cream bronzer from fenty so i also filmed sephora recommendations it's gonna be a really large video for you guys. I pretty much did all my favorites, all the favorite recommendations, like the best of the best products. If you are interested, I recommend you watch that video because I really just went through my entire collection and gave you my best recommendations for the best of the best. So that video is very, very packed with products and information. So hopefully it's gonna be helpful for you if you decide to shop. So some of the products that I mentioned in that video I am using today. So this is a really nice bronzer, by the way. I just really, really like how pale it is right because I am not tan today I'm not really tanning anymore these days I feel like summer is over and I'm embracing my paleness pale paleness is this even a word I honestly guys do not know if I'm gonna be shopping on Sephora sale because I'm really trying to be on a low buy here okay I'm going into this bronzer I'm really trying to be on a low buy right now and I think I've been doing a good job actually in October after we came back from our European trip which I'm gonna be talking about in just a moment after we came back from our Europe trip I'm definitely taking it easy and honestly, there's just been so much going on that I really don't feel like I need anything. Plus, I've been trying to organize my room and just seeing how much stuff I have. It definitely just makes me feel like I don't want to buy anything. But also, at the same time, there's just been a lot of, like, gift sets. Do you guys buy gift sets at all? Uh, is there, like, a specific brand that you like? Let me know which ones are you loving. Well, I know some people that buy them and put them as stocking stuffers. I feel like that's a really good option if you just kind of make a lot of different smaller gifts. Or this is also the good way to try new products. You know the gift set that I used to buy uh, several years in a row? I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing it this year, to be honest with you, because I still have the previous year's one. And this is the sample of perfumes. I like to travel with those, so I used to buy them. And uh, whenever I go out, I like to have like a tiny sample with me of the perfume that I'm wearing, so that's super convenient. Uh, Alta would drop them early, like October or something. I don't think they are there yet, but they should be dropping anytime soon. But they are like about $30, and shortly after they go on sale. So I would buy them like for like $15, half a price. And to my opinion, that was like a really good deal. I would get to try all these perfumes, wear them, see how they smell, how they last on my skin, see if I even like the scent. And then they would give you like a coupon to save um, on any of the perfumes that are included in that set, but on a full bottle. So I thought that was a good deal. But let me know what you think of the gift sets generally. Like, do you like them? Do you think it's just like a waste of money and nobody uses them? But I have to be honest with you, I am a little bit overwhelmed with all these holiday launches, like Christmas launches, they are being revealed already and are available to purchase in October. Some of them were even launched in September. I think it's a little bit too early. Maybe a lot of people would start shopping super early for Christmas to just kind of spread out their budget, but to me, it's just a little bit overwhelming. I wanna enjoy my fall and then I wanna enjoy the Halloween and then I wanna enjoy the Thanksgiving. I do not start shopping for anything until like November, okay? Around November, end of November, I would start worrying about Christmas. That's just me. I understand why people wanna start early, so it's not like you're spending too much money all at once. I think I wanna do my eyes first and then I will do cheeks and highlighter, etc. Are you guys early shoppers? Do you start your Christmas shopping super early? Or do you wait a little bit later? Share with me your opinions and where you stand. I wanna chat with you. I grew up in Russia, right? Like you guys all know. And in Russia, we would give gifts for New Year's, right? Because our Christmas 
Christmas comes after New Year's, you would buy gifts and exchange gifts on New Year's night. When I was growing up, it was accustomed for people to buy only one gift for one person. Maybe I was a little bit of an exception because my birthday falls on December 31st, which is New Year's Eve. So it's technically my birthday and New Year's. So my parents would always buy me like double gifts, uh, but even my distant relatives like aunts and uncles, they would only buy me one gift. Here, when I moved to America, it was just a bit of a cultural shock in a way. It is very custom here to buy multiple gifts. And it just, of course, gets overwhelming. Like how many gifts you need to buy if you have a larger family. So me and my boyfriend talked about it a while back. And like almost in the beginning, I think it was like second year when we started dating. And we just decided that we were only going to buy one gift for each other. We just kind of made that decision that we're only going to just keep it low. And uh, one gift is enough. One gift is plenty. And if we wanted to do something else, we would rather just do, maybe do something together. What do you do in your family? Do you do multiple gifts? I just want to hear uh, from you as well. So I want to tell you guys a little bit more about my London trip, how we went to London and Paris. I actually did film a video, like more official video of our trip and sharing like the tips and all these things that we learned and experience. So I've already filmed that video, but it's gonna be a beast to edit. But that video is going to be live eventually and it's gonna be a fun one. I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy it. Let's dig into this baby. I'm really excited. So we decided to go to Europe for mine and my boyfriend's anniversary. We like to travel on our anniversary, of course, when time allows. So this trip was in the works and was being planned for a while. And we had a whole entire week to spend in London. And then we decided to go to Paris as well because they are considerably close. So definitely did not regret that decision. So majority of our time we did spend in uh, London. And yeah, so we definitely got to explore it fully, I would want to say, but we never really went outside of London. And I also unfortunately missed out on Harry Potter studio. Everything was sold out like months and months ahead of time. Other than that, I really enjoyed London. It was just a place that's been on my wish list for so long. And also Paris. Paris is only uh, two and a half hours away and we took a Eurostar train, which is like a speed line that goes directly from London to Paris. And it's super comfortable, very clean, considerably organized, uh, considerably organized, let's just say that. But it was really easy to get on it and get off of it. So it was just really easy to uh, go to Paris. So, but what I wanted to share with you is the incident that happened to me in uh, London while we were in London. So we went out to eat and I had this super delicious meal. It was like pasta with different types of seafood and it had some type of like spicy something like crumbs on it. It was absolutely delicious. So when I started eating the meal, literally as soon as I took like few bites of it, I felt like a little zing on my lip and I felt like the texture of my lip change. It felt like a little bit like rougher, like in one area. And I looked at my boyfriend and I was like, do you see something on my lip here? And he was like, it's a little bit pink. I was like, I don't know where it's coming from, but I really didn't pay too much attention to it. I just thought it was odd. That was a lunchtime. And the day just passed, we were hanging out, sightseeing, etc. But next morning, I woke up, I went to the bathroom, I look at the mirror, you guys, and oh my God, I literally look like Will Smith in the Hitch movie. If you know, you know. I need to put this palette down. <laughs> and I had a red rash going all over my brows, like this area, like this was covered like almost like in a C shape. My lids are, and eyes are all swollen, like scary swollen guys, like scary swollen. This was serious allergic reaction to whatever I ate. My chin was all covered with rash here. My upper lip was entirely covered with rash. So I was petrified the way I looked because first of all, that didn't look good. Second of all, it didn't feel good. Everything just started burning and itching later on. And the third part is obviously also very important that if it's your allergic reaction can also clog your airways. So obviously all our plans that day were like a little bit interrupted. I had to stay in the hotel and just kind of, uh, you know, take my time, hydrate, like do all these things. Obviously I cannot do any makeup. Everything was like itching and burning. Thank God you guys, whenever I travel, I always pack like emergency kit of medications. Thank goodness I had some Benadryl with me. So I started taking Benadryl. So we also called the front desk for the hotel and just asked them where the emergency room is because I was like, just in case it started progressing, I would definitely need to go there to the hospital. So I took all the Benadryl that I was allowed to take. So this whole entire swelling situation was pretty ugly and very uncomfortable and of course, very inconvenient to be happening like this on our vacation. However, everything subsided, but it took me three days, guys. It took three days 
for the swelling on my eyes and around my mouth really to go down. And I was literally suffering because everything was like burning and itching. I couldn't do any makeup whatsoever. I couldn't do really any skincare. I just had like my moisturizing lotion with me and this is all I could do. I couldn't even do sunscreen because it would just burn and itch so badly. After the swelling subsided, my skin rash was still on my face, like the greedy texture of it lasted probably for the next almost two weeks. After we already got home, my skin was still like that. I'm gonna go into the straight next. It's just uh, this beautiful, smooth, like satin shade. When, so after the swelling went down, uh, my skin just became so dry, like painfully dry everywhere guys like my entire face and i am a combination oily skin i really have a lot of tricks under my belt when it comes to combo oily skin so i'm gonna go with this shade and this is gonna be my inner corner but when it comes to super dry skin holy guacamole thank goodness when i packed my makeup and my skincare i like to pack a variety of things and thank goodness i packed some hydrating products also i want to show you this spray this saved me on the plane you guys i talked about it in my monthly favorites but i didn't want to share my story necessarily with you in my monthly favorites because i needed to tell you the entire story uh, our flight was six and a half hours and i reapplied that spray like every hour my skin was just so dry it would just like soak everything in like instantly so when i got home of course i had to do like an intense hydration like the emergency protocol kicked in and i was like thank goodness i have all these options i was uh, just you know recovering my skin and i was like wow what an experience like yeah so i just try to stay positive and just make the best out of it but i am very happy that i didn't end up in emergency room okay i finished my other eye and my lashes eyeliner behind the camera to uh, let's just finish up on my cheeks etc and i do want to answer some of the questions that you guys left me so spark is asking how long do you usually take to get ready and what are the things in your cosmetic purse pouch that you always have i'm just gonna go with these blushes i think i'm gonna mix them up together it really depends I can really get ready with like a basic makeup under 10 minutes. I am really fast. Um, if I need to get ready fast, I can get ready fast because there are definitely products in my collection that can get me there really fast, right? Like those easy to use products that you don't really have to overthink. Sometimes products are multitaskers too, so I can just go quick, 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 and then be done in 10. On an average a day, if I do have a little bit of time and I wanna do maybe more eyeshadows, maybe eyeliner, I can get ready in 20. If I wanna be extra, extra, like when we go out and if I wanna do like a full smoky eye, I wanna do like perfect blended look, lashes, I don't know, all that. I definitely maybe even like throw some contour on. I definitely can push it to like 45 to an hour. I can definitely take my time. But this is a fun question. And as far as items that are always in my bag, and I am one of those people who does not like carrying makeup with me unless it's like uh, lip products. It's a lip liner and whatever else lip products I'm wearing, like lipstick or a lip gloss. So those are two or three products that are always with me. At times I would even have uh, like those universal shades, what I refer to with me in that live in my purse. For example like this liner that i'm going to be using today this a rare beauty lip liner this kind of like that universal shade sometimes it's just like in my bag all the time or i would have like that neutral lip gloss that kind of goes with everything and if i leave the house and i forget my lip products i can always just top it off and it's still gonna look good so i would sometimes have those like a few products like lip products that are universal for me and i can always just mix and match no matter what i already have going on and of course i'm a combination oily skin i always have blotting paper a retouching powder and a powder puff I always always have this brush with me. This is from Real Techniques. This is called this is called Expert Concealer Brush. I bought this several years ago and I cannot be without this brush. This is a brush that I use under my eyes if my mascara smudges or my concealer starts crinkling or something else started happening under my eyes or if i'm not wearing any eyeshadow and if i see some creasing going on on my upper lid i just use this brush this brush is a lifesaver this this just automatically became one of those products that i must have if something happens to this brush i will need to go and immediately repurchase this so in my purse uh in my work bag or, or especially if i go out um i always have this little thing with me it's not necessarily a makeup it's not a makeup product at all this is basically Basically an oil pen that I use for my nails. My skin around nails is always dry and whenever I go somewhere I always need to moisturize the skin. I always have hand lotion but I also always have one of these because I need to rehydrate my nails. I usually buy them from Amazon in bulk and they are just in all of my bags and yeah, I can't live without these either. All right, so the next question came from Julie Cassidy and she's asking, I recall you saying you work in a dentist office. Is there still a thing called dentition? Uh, yes, uh, there is a thing that called dentition. Yes, I do still work in a dental office and probably will be 
be for the rest of my life. I really like my career. I really have no intentions of leaving. It's a super stressful, super stressful industry, but it's also very rewarding. I'm, I'm gonna also use this highlighter. There is still such thing like dentition. Dentition basically means teeth. So there is an adult dentition and there is a primary dentition. So the primary dentition means they are baby teeth and uh, adult dentition is obviously your second set of teeth and the last set of teeth you would ever have in your life. So uh, this is just a word that is very, very dental terminology. You, you would primarily see it if you take like dental courses. If you are in a dental industry, if you are a dental professional, you will come around uh, that word a lot. Basically, if you're a patient, uh, doctors or any type of um, uh, dental professional, like staff members, they are not gonna say that word to you because it's just that dental term that is kind of like that internal word that people will use. But yes, any textbook, any dental meeting, if uh, any courses, any continuing education, lectures, stuff like that, you will definitely hear that word quite a bit. Spark is also asking, what are the things do you think you wasted your money on a lot? Um, my case is always lip glosses. So lip glosses is definitely one of those uh, uh, categories of makeup that you, know, you definitely would try so many different formulas before you actually find something that you really, really like to like establish your own kind, right? But if I think of the ratio of products that I, I like versus that I didn't like, I think eyeliners, more pencil eyeliners than liquid eyeliners, even though I came across a lot of bad liquid eyeliners also. Then um, Andrea C is asking what high-end makeup brand you believe is overrated. Okay, guys, uh, might be unpopular opinion and think on this one, but I think I would say Charlotte Tilbury. Interesting fact, when I was in London, Charlotte Tilbury is everywhere, you guys, everywhere. Anywhere there is a shopping area, there is Charlotte Tilbury, okay? And those stores are gorgeous. The stores are beautiful, the displays are beautiful. So far, I've tried a good handful of things from her brand, but I just feel like it's not for me, you guys. I've tried the powder and I'm not a fan of it. It doesn't do anything for me. I was not a fan of the lip gloss. I was not a fan of her very popular lipstick. Um, what's that shade that just went viral? Berry Victoria. I just thought it was so unflattering on my skin. Even though it is a super viral product that is considered like that universal shade that is good for everybody, I thought that it just aged me by like 30 years. I also purchased that holiday edition eyeshadow palette, which I spend a lot of money on, and I was not a fan, you guys. I just was not a fan. The mattes were like super patchy on me. Of course, I haven't tried all the products, but maybe my preferences are different. For example, when it comes to powder, I like a setting powder. I do not want a finishing powder because it does nothing for me. There are definitely a few things that I would want to try from her. I will definitely be repurchasing the setting spray eventually because that one is just so good, and I also wanted to try her lip liner, but let me know what's your favorite Charlotte Tilbury product. Let me know in the comments below. I want to know. Jeannie Alato is also asking, what is your standard blush bronzer which you use on YouTube? I do not have one, you guys. I don't have one because I always rotate my makeup. I definitely have some things that I like for certain occasions. Like if I am going to the office, if I'm going maybe for like an official meeting, I would go with like one type of blush or one certain color of blush or highlighter or bronzer. But I do not really have of something a specific one that I constantly use because I love all my makeup because I sit here and my storage is around me it is easily reachable for me some of the things actually blushes and bronzers are here literally on my vanity my storage is on my vanity I purposefully wanted my getting ready and filming area be organized in a way that is easily reachable for me I know this works for me very well and that's why it allows me to easily reach for my products and rotate them so I love all my products I love all the formulas I do not keep anything that I don't like I if I don't like something I am declaring this at the end of the year or like every year I do declutters so for most part yeah I like all my makeup and it's in a healthy rotation so let me just put this on I still have another question that I wanted to answer, but I want to put these uh, two lip products on. And this is from Angelica Nikvist and Odin's Eye collaboration. I got two different formulas. One is more of your gloss and another one is a lip stain. But these are the outer boxes. They are just so stunning. They did such a great design on all the outer packaging. It's just really stunning. I'll tell you guys, I've already tried these and... One is a lip gloss, right? And another one is a little bit more of like that moussey stain. It's more of a mousse than a stain, to my opinion. One thing that I wanted to tell you is I like to apply them in the reverse order. I will apply gloss first and then I will apply the mousse. This gloss is super nice, more of like a balmy gloss. I really like the consistency of this. It's not like too runny. It's not too much, like very, very nice gloss. I really like that formula. And uh, let's just apply this one. This is in the shade Matte Swamp Fog.
So I really like applying these two products together because I think the shades go well together. The gloss was in the shade uh, Quicksand. So my makeup is finished, but I do have one more question that I wanted to answer. So it came from Apple Loves Makeup and she's asking, what's your makeup pet peeve? So I think a, one of my pet peeves when it comes to makeup is bad packaging. Bad packaging, and I think it's the most recent one that has been aggravating me uh, quite a bit. When you watch my decluttering series, I elaborate on that a little bit more. Uh, I just feel like bad packaging should not be a case anymore because no makeup is really cheap anymore these days and um, brands really need to think that over there are some really good products they're high quality uh, they are affordable however the packaging is really really poor and um, when i open a product that i really really enjoy obviously i'm using it i'm reaching for it but then the packaging breaks after like three times of using the product it definitely kills the vibe and it just kills my desire to reach for that product because it just becomes messy and inconvenient or for example if you open a palette and pants fall out that's just again poor quality of packaging yeah so those are definitely pet peeves uh let me know what yours are let's chat in the comment section below thank you for submitting all the questions all right guys this is a finished makeup look what do you think did you enjoy it this is a makeup look the eye makeup look that i've recreated multiple times i feel like this is generally like my go-to look out of this palette i definitely want to do more tutorials uh, with this palette most probably will be on my instagram reels or on tiktok but this palette is gorgeous and i think it looks more beautiful in person that's my personal opinion that it comes off on camera because the finishes of the shimmers there in this palette are just stunning they just look so expensive and glamorous and nothing fades throughout the day it's just super gorgeous i really really love this palette and i am very happy that you guys picked it for this video so even though i'm gonna pick my next shop my stash products maybe in a month or two i will still do my monthly palette ranking so i really love our chatty uh, times here so definitely we'll see more of these in the future i really love that you guys also get to participate and choose the eyeshadow palette that you want to see I me mean, use so all that gives me a really good vibes and i enjoyed very much myself so if you made it till the end of this video thank you for being here thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet a subscriber and uh, i will catch you in my next videos bye